Number 8. Pulling the Trigger If you're familiar with American film and television shows, then you've likely heard of actor Alec Baldwin. The superstar began his acting career decades ago and is most notable for roles in movies like Beetlejuice and shows like 30 Rock with Tina Fey. While on set for a new project called Rust, a terrible incident occurred, and many blame Baldwin himself. Rust is set in a western world where guns are commonplace. But in the real world, the weapon was supposed to be just a prop. Sadly, it wasn't, and while Alec was holding it, the gun went off and mortally wounded the director of photography on the film, Helena Hutchins. The incident went down on October 21st of 2021, and since then, Alec has had extensive therapy to work through his traumatic experience. When news of what happened broke, people were quick to point fingers at the actor. But he maintains his innocence, claiming the gun was supposed to have no rounds in it. He says he didn't even pull the trigger, but it somehow went off anyway. In a filmed interview a few months after the shooting, Alec appears to be still in some distress. He says that he's not responsible for the death, even claiming that if he believed he was, he might have taken his own life. Even with this show of grief, Hutchins' father believes Alec shares some of the blame. He's convinced that since Alec was holding the gun when it fired, he must be partly responsible, which is a fair train of thought. But if Alec is telling the truth, someone handed him a loaded gun when he thought it was safe. It must have shocked him just as much, if not more, than anyone else. It's a tragic and thought-provoking incident, and we'd love to hear the thoughts of our viewers in the comments. Who do you think was to blame? Or was this just a freak accident? Number 7. Resident Evil Whether you're a gamer or a movie lover, the Resident Evil franchise has captivated fans for decades. But during filming for the 2016 film, a stunt woman's life changed forever. Danger comes with a job as a stunt person, but that doesn't mean they show up to work expecting to break a leg every day. Sadly, a stunt woman named Olivia Jackson was part of a horrific crash on the Resident Evil set. She was riding a motorcycle when she crashed straight into a camera crane. According to sources, the crane was supposed to dodge the vehicle, but it couldn't in time. Jackson's injuries were severe, and they left her in a coma that lasted 17 days. On top of this, Olivia's arm had to be amputated below the left elbow. She even fractured her spine, which led to nerve damage that she'll likely deal with for the rest of her life. She posted online afterwards with a picture of her stump saying, quote, Not how I plan my life to go, but just got to embrace what I have and move onwards and upwards. End quote. Despite her optimistic outlook, she sued those responsible for the stunt in question, and she won. With a hefty settlement, Olivia uses her story to try and spread awareness and make a change in the stunt industry. She hopes that in the future we'll see more safety precautions and attention in the execution of stunts, and that no one suffers a fate like hers. Number 6. Twilight Zone It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of a man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. If you've heard this short monologue before, then you've likely seen the cult classic TV show known as The Twilight Zone. Starting all the way back in 1959, episodes of The Twilight Zone captivated viewers with its unique and horrifying plots. It depicted everything from apocalyptic scenarios to everyday life, while leaving its viewers questioning the veil between reality and fiction. The show was beyond popular to say the least. While filming for a movie version of the TV show in the 1980s, two children were killed in a freak accident. The scene being shot was a helicopter chase where the kids, Renee Shin Chen and Micah Din Lei, aged 6 and 7, died in the crossfire of malfunctioning special effects. In the ensuing investigation, it was discovered that the film crew broke multiple child labor laws and the kids were working under subpar conditions. The kids weren't the only ones hurt in the incident. Another actor named Vic Morrow lost his life as well. Since this was such a high-profile accident, and one of the first time movie makers were held responsible for something like this, it was a landmark legal case. Sadly, all of the crew was acquitted of any possible crimes. The victims' families were not satisfied with this, so they filed personal suits. Thankfully, they received some compensation for these legal proceedings, but the amounts were never publicly disclosed. For fans of the series, some might say this incident was ironic considering the plots of The Twilight Zone. But for the loved ones of Renee, Micah, and Vic, the sorrow was very much real. Have you ever seen The Twilight Zone? What's your favorite episode? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video so far, be sure to subscribe and leave a like to see more amazing videos from this channel. Number 5. The Passion of the Christ For tens of millions around the world, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ is the most important religious event to have ever been preached about. So it makes sense that they turned this incident that's sacred for so many and turned it into a Hollywood blockbuster. That's just the business, right? 
The movie was appropriately titled The Passion of the Christ, and did receive much backlash when it came out for its R rating and gory depiction of the biblical event, but that's not what we're focusing on today. On the set of the film, the actor playing Jesus himself, Jim Caviezel, was injured. The prop cross, weighing nearly 150 pounds or just under 70 kilograms, crashed into his head. The impact forced Jim's head into the sand below. He says the collision caused him to bite his tongue. Despite this injury, the filming continued, and Jim now says the accident helped him better portray Jesus on his way to the crucifixion. In the movie, blood can be seen on Jim's face, and it's not fake. That's his actual blood from the collision. On top of the cross falling on him, Jim also dislocated his shoulder, received a large gash on his back, was literally set on fire, and more, which some might have taken as a heavenly sign to stop filming, but Jim was proud. All the pain he endured supposedly made his acting better, according to him at the least. After his release, the film brought in well over a half billion dollars in revenue and is one of the biggest religious films ever released. Maybe Jim was right, and all that pain was worth it. Number 4. Lost In the early 2000s, one television show captured the attention of audiences around the world and had them all waiting on the edge of their seats each week for a new episode. The show Lost was a global phenomenon that achieved a level few series ever have. If you're unfamiliar with the show, it follows the survivors of a plane that crashed on a mysterious island. While trying to figure out a way, while trying to survive and figure out a way home, the characters uncover strange secrets the island was hiding. The plot alone sounds interesting, but that's not what made Lost so special. The intricate character building and soundtrack paired with the adventure, mystery, and danger is what brought viewers back each week. And it turns out that that on-screen danger leaked into the real world. While filming the final episode of the Legendary series, some of the crew was put in great danger. One of the main characters of the cast, named Terry O'Quinn, essentially stabbed his co-star Matthew Fox. It's a similar incident to the Alec Baldwin story. Terry was supposed to be holding a fake prof knife, but somehow ended up with a real deal. Thankfully, no one was actually hurt. This is a good ending for once, although some wouldn't say the same for the show itself. Matthew Fox was wearing a protective padding under the area he was to be stabbed, so when Terry plunged the knife in, it didn't go all the way through. The two actors were laughing their heads off to the crew's surprise, but I don't know about you. If I found out I was just almost stabbed, I wouldn't be laughing. Number 3. The Hobbit People often say books are better than the movies, and we have to agree. There's just something about the world you create in your own head while seeing words on a page that trump on-screen action. But some film adaptations are pretty good. From the writings of J.R.R. Tolkien, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings are some of the biggest movies of the fantasy genre. They're basically the blueprint. But to the surprise of many, filming of The Hobbit had a few major problems. And the one we're covering might leave animal lovers angry. Dozens of creatures were used on set during the movie, and they were housed together in a farm. A few of these critters included goats, sheep, chicken, horses, and more. The farm itself was later deemed unreasonably dangerous. There were many sinkholes in the area, and it was almost impossible to discover them all. Due to this, the animals would occasionally fall in. And sadly, 27 creatures died in a similar fashion or due to natural causes. When news of this aired, the animal rights organization PETA expressed their contempt for the filmmakers, saying it's unacceptable for the safety of animals to be compromised for the sake of a movie. Others said the crew should have moved the farm animals to another location after discovering the danger. Even with this controversy, The Hobbit was an international success. But at what cost? Number 2. A Dog's Purpose The next story is another one that will pull on the heartstrings for the animal lovers in the audience. A few years ago in 2017, on the set of a movie, A Dog's Purpose, a video was taken, showing a dog almost drowning after being coerced into dangerous water. That's what it looked like in the viral clip, at least. Because of this, many, including PETA, boycotted the movie and demanded an explanation. The filmmakers rose to their defense, saying the online clip had been edited, and that the German Shepherd shown wasn't actually in much danger at all. Due to negative press, the movie failed, considering its initial projections. It was originally aiming to be on par with the dog film Marley and Me, which grossed nearly a quarter of a billion dollars. But A Dog's Purpose was far from that mark. On its opening weekend, multiple groups protested the film, with one even including a dog in costume holding a sign that says he doesn't want to participate in a movie. Incidents like this bring up the question of animal safety in the film industry, and if it's being taken too lightly. 
Number 1. The Walking Dead Zombies are insanely popular, with their movies and franchises having made billions of dollars. Almost everyone has a favorite zombie film, whether it's Train to Busan, Zombieland, or something else. So when a TV series based off a comic called The Walking Dead started airing on AMC, its popularity was no surprise. But with a show that has so much action and so many crew members, accidents are going to happen, right? Sadly, one accident caused the death of stuntman John Berniker. During a stunt where John was supposed to fall nearly 20 feet or just about 6 meters, he mistakenly held onto a rail and missed the landing safety mat. He fell the distance onto a hard concrete floor. After immediately being rushed to the hospital, John was declared dead. Devastated by the loss of their son, John's family sought some form of justice. They filed a lawsuit against AMC itself as well as the production company. While they did receive some compensation, AMC was found not responsible for the incident. As a trained stuntman, John sadly made a mistake and missed the pad. Even with appropriate safety measures in place in this situation, human error can never really fully be accounted for. And while many usually get to learn from their mistakes, sad as it is, John will never get the opportunity. Thanks for watching. Have you ever heard about any of these bizarre accidents? Are there any other Hollywood stories you think belong on this list? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. See you next time on The Bad Badger.